Hamza Shiraz, I mean, uh, happy birthday for the other day. Cheers, Dev, thank you. 25 now, right? 25, that's oh it, God. yeah. 25 year old captain of the <laughs> Queensbury team. You good? Yeah, all good, all good. Uh, in good spirits, camp's been well. A few days away from it now, and that's it, I can't wait to get, get cracking. If uh, this version of Hamza Shiraz, 25 years old, had told 15 year old Hamza Shiraz that this would all be happening, yeah. would he have believed you? Nah, never in a million years, never in a million years. I've always said it before, I look at myself as an overachiever, so when I, if I look back at my 15 year old self now, it was like, I'd be in a bit. I'd be a bit shocked, to say the least. Anyway, but you know, um, hard work. Hard work pays off, doesn't it? it? Takes a bit of pressure off you as well, as well, doesn't it? Like if you're saying you're an overachiever, like everything's a bonus at yeah. this stage, right? Yeah, it does. But then at the same time, I've come this far now, so I might as well just reach for the top. Do you know what I mean? So that's 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 kind of where my mentality is at right now. Well, the to it feels like the tops within touching distance. This uh, fight with Ammo Williams on the five v five. They're talking about it being a final eliminator for the WBC world title. You're yep. this close, Hamza. Yeah, very close, very close. Um, but all them, all them, it being an eliminator and whatnot, I don't really think about it. I don't take it into consideration at all. This is just another opponent in front of me, um, num number 20, 20th time in the ring now as a professional. So I take everything in my stride and it's another day at the office. Your best opponent? Uh, could say, could say. So yeah, I mean, every fight since my fifth, since my fourteenth or thirteenth fight, I knew it was going to be progressively a step up to to get where I want to get and to be where I want to be, and to do what I want to do. You got to fight fighters like this, and it's not the first time I'm fighting someone undefeated. I mean, I went out to Poland, done done a done number mm -hmm. on on uh, the opponent over there, and it's like I said, it's just another day at the office, um, and one I'm very much looking forward to. Has he lit a fire in you? Because you've got a mouthy, unbeaten American who is telling you what he's going to do to <laughs> you. Like, for me, that's the sort of stuff that boxing's all about, yeah. right? Has it lit something in you? Uh, not really, not really, because you've got to remember, I've been going out to America for four years now, and it was a blessing that I've done because I've come across all characters like him. Maybe not the ones that I want to tell, I've never, <laughs> never seen that before, but um, in terms of charisma and loud mouthing, I've had it. I've had it inspiring, I've had it on social media with all, all American fighters and whatnot. So I've experienced that. So sitting across the table to him and hearing what he's got to say and doing what he's doing is not a shock to me. I've, I've seen it. Um, and yeah, it's just one, of the, just one of them things. I think I personally think he's nervous. He's not been on a stage like this in, in his career before. But then at the end of the day, a nervous fight always does make a good fight. So I've got to be, 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 be on my A game. And when he's sat opposite from you at a table and he's talking about how you're not made for this and you're doing this just to sort of, I don't know, I guess make a bit of money, but you're not born for this like he's born for it. What, yeah. what are you thinking? Um, personally, I just want to slap him across his face, to be fair, Dave. but um, I get to do that on Saturday. Um, but yeah, it's just all, it's just all, he, talk, he does talk a lot of shit. He talks a lot of shit um, and it was all a cover up. It was all a cover up and ultimately, like I said, this is the first time he's had all this. He's like been the number one, um, not number one, the center of attraction, um, his biggest fight and whatnot. That's why he's turned up in a tail and whatnot, just to get that extra attention. And I can see right through it. I can see right through it. And I just got to do me and then give him a beating on Saturday night. Are you going to take his tail from him on Saturday? Put it between his legs. <laughs> send him home with it. That's it, send him home with it. That's it, give him a kick up his ass when I should go. <laughs> um, I've heard you say that there's a bit of a thing with Eddie as well because once upon a time Eddie said he didn't didn't know who you were. Yeah. Is that something that motivated you? Uh, it, it, it'll definitely add that sweeter touch to when inshallah the victory does happen. Um, just like I said, go over to him, give him a little spud or shake his hand, like you won't forget now. But to be fair, saying that he, he's a nice guy. I met him for the first time at the media day we done the first time, and it was a nice guy. I suppose that's what, what boxing is. You got to keep putting on great performances to, to get, to become that name that everyone mm -hmm. is speaking about in boxing. But when you were hearing things, say a couple of years ago of him saying, I don't even know who Hamza Shiraz <laughs> is, like it must have, because sometimes cri criticism and the, the hateful kind of words or the bad words, they can drive you more than the good words, right? Yeah. So was he like a motivation in those times? Like, oh, who's this saying he doesn't know who I am? I'm going to show him. Yeah, no, definitely. It was definitely. I remember watching it and thinking that oh, one day, you know what I mean? One day you remember. And now this is it. He's here. I've got, I'm fighting one of his fighters. Um, 
in a historical event of, of um, Queensbury and Matram. So what, what better way to, to do it? Ammo Williams said that he's going to cleanse you. What do you think about that? I don't know what he's going to cleanse me of. I have no clue. I have no clue. Um, good luck to him. Good luck to, to the fellow. Do you know what I mean? Uh, he says a lot of weird things. Hell of a lot of weird things. But it's part of who he is, I suppose. Are we looking at four points from Hamza Shiraz on Saturday? Definitely. Definitely, inshallah. Four points. Four solid points. Training camp's been great. Um, game plan. The way, the way we've executed everything this camp has been, alhamdulillah, spot on. So I have no complaints. And come Saturday night, I'll be putting on a great performance. Good luck. Cheers, Dev. Thank you. Okay.